delighted to welcome you, Oliver, to uh, our fabrication here in uh, K-Club. Thank you, Gareth. And uh, very pleased to say that you've got your hands on your, your first Farm Compare order. Yes. So uh, this is our 10-ton trailer, albeit it's the Mark II. Uh, and this is really where it all started almost three years ago, so it's fitting that it's the first uh, product that, that we have sold through Farm Compare. Yes. So, um, Glad to get on the road. Yeah, getting to it. Give us a wee shout through this one here, Gareth. This is, this is our 10 ton trailer, uh, and because we, we started with it, obviously the amount of units that we have out um, is, is certainly exceeding the 90 mark at this minute in time. Um, it's, it's definitely punching well above its weight. We did make a change um, just over a year ago and we converted it to the square chassis as opposed to the taper chassis. That allows us to be able to utilize the sprung drawbar uh, and, and different bits and pieces. Um, so a bit of a better offering and stronger, more stable trailer. So we're down to the good strong six mil rectangular box section here, square chassis. Um, well strengthened the entire way of it. Yep. Um, we have got, as I said, the ability for the sprung drawbar. It is an option, but over the last year we haven't sold any without the sprung drawbar. Yep. Um, and then obviously we have our ramp rails within the chassis. Um, all the chassis are made with the ramp rails. Um, so again, at a later date, and again with on the body, uh, the ramp bar, it's all ramp prepared. So at a later date, you're coming down that you can put, put the ramps in safely, yep. inside the chassis, uh, <coughs> safely and securely. So yeah. certainly one um, of our more popular uh, uh, trailers, and again the square profile allows us to have the option of the rocker bogies, which is on this trailer, yeah. and or the, the leaf suspension the five leaf suspension on, on, on the square beam axles. So certainly um, punching well above its weight. So just, even just looking at that chassis, you can yeah. see the strength in it, you can see, see the material. And then we have our wee frame here for the, for the sprung drawbar. And the handbrake. Just yep. the bushings on that. What is she left for pin wise? So on, on the 10 ton, <clears throat> it's a greased 50 mil pin. Yep. And then whenever you cross from the 10 ton to the 12 minute switches to the 80 mil yep. grease pin because that's the same um, structure, same frame that does the uh, 12, 14 and 16 and tons. So you're into a different animal you're in, such. you're into a different animal, it's like a forklift. Once you go to a 3 ton or 3.5, you're up yep. to a different frame or, or whatever the case may be when they switch you. over. Uh, it's, it's getting back to the 10 ton. We know this trailer is well fit for 12 and a half plus to 13 yeah. ton. It can carry it, it can tip it, and it can do so safely. We market it as a 10 ton trailer because we don't want, if I market it a 13 ton trailer and someone loads head, head yeah. heavy and it doesn't tip it, you know, you have, you have somebody coming back and saying it doesn't do what it says in the tin. So we leave that wee bit extra capacity in it. Probably selling ourselves short whenever you're going, just based on, on, on spec. We're really at the finishing stages here now of, of your, um, your order, whenever we take on the, the fabrication, the weld. So we're in, we're in the blast shop here now. Yeah. So once we leave, it'll be blasted, and then it'll go over to be painted um, tomorrow. And then that leaves it that it's going into fitting uh, Monday, yep. Tuesday and then approximately a day or so, and then a bit of PDA, and then we're off okay. to the customer. So yeah. um, that's, so again, so our body, the 10 ton body is 14 feet, um, uh, and, four, and seven foot nine. Um, that's, that's our body. We run- What heights are our cribs? Our, our cribs are 525, 530. Yeah. That's roughly what they're, they're working out at. Um, we, d we have changed again with the Mark II to the, th to the three hinges per door. Yes. Um, again, we have the outer run rather than being angle um, is rectangular hollow section. It is strengthened on the sides and underneath. Yeah. Our stringers are 250 mil centers, um, 50 by 50 box the entire length. Yep. Um, and again, she's the drop side. She's the fixed headboard. Yeah. <clears throat> Again, it's something that, that, that I wanted on a trailer if I was having it. 
Uh, I have been caught in camera saying tractors are getting faster and faster, loads are getting heavier and air brakes are the norm. So yeah. if you stand on the brakes on an air, come air forward, tractor, yeah. you want something there that's yeah. going to stop the load from being shed. So again, the, t the 10 ton trailer um, would certainly be number one from uh, because it's, it was the trailer that we started with, albeit that others are starting to catch it um, on, on the amount sold. Right. On the headboard, yes. see the wee hooks? The more tail doors around the country is hooked off and they're left again hedges and stuff. That's very handy just to have the, the tail door. Swing it around, hook it onto the front. Yeah. And you always have it with you. So again, whenever you're comparing apples for apples, we do have uh, items we sell to a spec. So we do offer the headboard um, hanger a standard. Now it hangs down into a bracket yeah, that tightens yeah. the door, it's not, not, it's not, not swinging. Swinging, right, swinging there. We have got our tie hooks <coughs> underneath the chimes there, the whole way down as standard. Um, the two pack paint, the, the different colours of chassis as standard. The hockey grip tyres are as standard. The LED dynamic lights are standard. You know, there's elements there that if you want, maybe the uh, same way as you go into a car garage. Yep, yep. Um, I like that car, oh, but the alloys are a thousand pound extra. The same way, the ramp compartment is standard and the ramp bar, bar is standard. And yes, you mightn't particularly be using ramps on the trailer the day you buy it, but a year or two down the line, you don't know. Yep. Very, very handy for a three ton, four ton digger yep. to run up there and everything's ready to, to go. Um, exactly. The four, all four weeks, wheels hydraulically braked. Um, so a, a very good all round trailer then. Just behind you, Oliver, here we have the crib size. Yep. So again, we have them double skinned, slightly heavier than the normal single skin design, but yep. I've repaired many the door here over the time. Uh, it's no shame in it. And uh, we, wanna let, we wanna have them last the test of time. Exactly. And then the smooth inside is just something that I prefer if you have a sticky clay, wet yep. sand or whatever, it's that it out. sheds nice and clean. So that's, that's a personal preference of mine, I suppose. Yep. Uh, and indeed, that's the headboard smooth as well, and the, 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 the door is smooth on the inside as well. Yeah, it just gives them that bit of strength as well. Yeah, it, it does, yeah. So. Which is a very impressive trailer. It's lovely, folks, to get into the factory and see them. Yeah. To see them being made as they're coming along, it's all very well looking at them when they're lovely and shiny and all the, the lights flashing on them, but it's nice to get in and, and, and see them naked as such. And yeah, yeah. Looking, looking forward to getting it delivered. Thanks very much for showing us no around. So Thank you for calling in. You're more than welcome to look on Farm Compare. The full range is there, the 10s, 12s, and even the 14, 16, and 20 tons. So feel free to give us a, a shout there at, at farmcompare.com. Thanks a million, folks.